Polish party proposes three years in jail for quote unquote insulting the church. Recently, uh, Solidarna Polska or United Poland, a Polish conservative party, proposed a three year jail sentence for anyone who insults the church or religious sentiments. According to uh, Marcin. Warchall, the deputy justice minister of the party, desecrations of the images of the Virgin Mary, disruption of church services, and spraying of slogans on church walls are just a few examples justifying this proposed law. Last year, Nurgle, the vocalist of the Polish extreme metal band Behemoth, was convicted of quote-unquote offending religious feelings for showing himself stepping on a painting of the Virgin Mary. The conviction was later overturned in court after Nurgle challenged it. Mortal added, there are also multiple incidents, including LGBTQ parades, where the Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ were depicted with rainbow halos. Anti-abortion uh, demonstrators also interrupted church service and vandalized church properties. Warchel claimed that the laws aimed to expand freedom and rights for the LGBT community are at the expense of Christians. According to the new law, public mocking of the church or other religious association would lead to two years in prison and up to three years if done via social media. So, you know, this hasn't come through, but there are people pushing to make the blasphemy laws in Poland even worse than they already are. Okay, first of all, the, the examples that you mentioned were not insulting the church. Those were vandalism. So they're using actual crimes that people have committed as an excuse to criminalize words, like insulting the church. Like, do people not see the difference between these things? Or are they, like, am I missing something here? Mm. I should probably... Like, so that's not, some of these like, cases... Like, oh, like somebody destroyed property. Oh, like, let's, let's make the three-year jail for insulting the church or like um one yeah, of yeah, these yeah. is not like the other like these are not you know these are separate things sir oh yeah, totally like so in these instances of like spray painting on a church wall like i completely oppose that that's straight up vandalism like that's not your property you can't do that that's already illegal punish it under the specific laws but it's getting special privilege this kind of a crime is getting special privilege because it's done to a religious institution. I mean, it already yeah. gets special privilege, but now they want to make it even worse. Is, I mean, they can't. Ha I mean, this is insane. I mean, Poland keeps him to want to add more and more blasphemy laws, but this can't. Like, they're part of the EU. They can't do this. I mean, they already have their fundings as threatened. Was that Poland or Hungary? Uh, they're both very reliant on the EU and they're both being threatened. Yeah. So they're not going to do this stuff. I mean, like this is not, they are, they have to abide by EU standards. So they cannot do this. Like, I don't know. I'm, but I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not worried. But they can. They already have blasphemy laws on the books. They already okay. convict people for blasphemy, Armin. And they're still a member of the EU. Yeah, but because they of already this do. Nonsense, but they have like billions and billions of dollars being threatened because of this, this insistence of like our feelings were hurt. Like they're, they, for, they, they, they rather their feelings be intact rather than getting billions and billions and billions of dollars from the EU. Like, do, do you really want to threat, challenge You're conflating that? two issues. The issue of them th being threatened with their fund funding being revoked mostly has to do with um, them not acknowledging the, the legitimacy of the European High Court. And it also has to do with their prohibitions on um, LGBT stuff and LGBT and rights and human abortion. Rights, human, and human rights in general. They're like, in the, general. The immigration seeing... refugee issue is part of it as well. But now with Ukraine, yeah. I think they're yeah. kind of like letting that one pass because they need Poland to take a lot of the Ukrainian refugees at the moment by the way guys we have blaspheme mother mary in the most beautiful and sexy way if you if you subscribe to our newsletter you will be able to see that and, and that yes. was partly in that was we in made, response yeah we made Poland. two polish blasphemies blasphemous yes. arts one is yes. the lgbt halo virgin mary and two is lgbt no no it's just virgin mary licking nurgle's boots <laughs> 
Yes, those are both in response to Poland's ridiculous blasphemy laws. So, mm -hmm. yeah, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you should be able to see that. Um, but yeah, this is ridiculous. This is a European. This is not just a European country. This is a European country that is part of the EU. Like unbelievable. Like the fact that you know what? A lot of um, I've seen a lot of um, YouTuber Islamic YouTubers say like, look, how could you expect us? not to have blasphemy laws where mm -hmm. even a european country recognizes that these are necessary even a european country or even a country these countries that talk about individualism and free speech and modernity blah 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 even some of them have the sense to realize that there are some things that are holy that you have to respect and there needs to be law so they're like they're using this as an excuse to be like, obviously, we need some form of, form of blasphemy law, which is so mm -hmm. disgusting. Like the European brand is now used as an excuse to show like there needs to be some limits. Yeah, wait, this yeah. is this is what is one part of this proposed legislation that made me so angry and blew my mind. Quote, the proposed change would also increase the punishment for interrupting religious ceremonies such as masses and funerals with up to three years in prison while removing from the, the law a special specification that the acts must be malicious. So usually, um, so what happened a few years ago was there was an LGBT activist who did a painting of the Virgin Mary with a rainbow halo and she got prosecuted, for, several of them got prosecuted for blasphemy, but they got off, they got acquitted because they were not able to prove their intention as being malicious. Not because of freedom of expression and the validity of that or saying actually, like, it's just a rainbow Mother Mary, like, what's so bad about that? Katie is saying, aren't like, they no, just... for intent? Oh, so they, oh. oh, sorry. They want to take out. They want to take out that portion of the law. Additionally, United Poland wants to introduce legislation that would exempt people from criminal charges if they were expressing religious beliefs. So, if you're doing this for your own religious profession, then it's not a criminal charge. Again, which is just like additional privilege upon privilege. Okay, let's read some highlighted comments, some start comments before. Yeah, um, Forever Stormy is saying, pretty sure current laws already deal with defacing property, etc. Yeah, I'm, mm. I would assume so. Um, and uh, <laughs> Todd Skeptic is saying, Poland looks at Islamic countries. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> well, they haven't got to that level, but yeah. I get no, no. And Forever Stormy is saying Poland doesn't want Muslim refugees and then goes on to behave just like Islamists. <laughs> it's not well, that... not just like, but closer to. Yeah, closer to. Uh, and Seth is saying devil's advocate. Isn't this basically the same idea as a hate crime? The idea that a crime with some odious motives uh, is worse than that of the same crime otherwise. Basically, yes. This is a crime saying this is worse because of some ideological basis. Um, okay, so what, what I'm reading is that they are just wanting to criminalize insulting on its own. Not that if it's a crime already, then it would be worse if it's also a hate crime. Like, for example, the Mother Mary stuff, for example. That is, so a hate crime is like, for example, let's say I, you, some Mr. Person A punch Mr. B in the face, okay? Because you he owes you money and he's not paying, okay? That's a crime. It's not a hate crime. But the same action, if it's done because of, like, race or something, now all of a sudden the same action is a hate crime, even though it was the exact same action, you punch somebody in the face, and the punishment for that is higher, right? Because, I mean, some people argue we shouldn't be. A punch is a punch. It should be the same um, punishment, right? But some people are saying, no, the motivation matters because um, you have inflicted the pain on an entire community because now um, there's anxiety about, you know, there's pain and anxiety inflicted on an entire community because when you punch somebody because they owe you money, you're not putting an entire uh, community in danger, right? And also that form of, that motivation needs to be fought against more because the spreading of it um, and the, pain to society from that is more dangerous than two individuals just having 
an issue with each other, right? But it needs to first be a crime and then without it being a hate crime and then because of the motivation, it becomes a hate crime, right? But if you like insult somebody because of the race, um, that is not a hate crime because the action itself is not a crime and then you're adding hate on top of it. You know what I mean? Mm. So insulting the church is not a hate crime. If you, you could say like, if you vandalize a church, um, because you're trying to inflict pain on Christians, that is a hate crime because vandalizing in general is a crime. And this on top of that would be a hate crime. Right. But just a mere insulting would not be a hate crime. Does that make sense? No, it does. It makes complete sense. Okay. Um, Bubble is saying Poland is the most ridiculous, openly racist country in Europe. Just see how they've dealt with blue eyed Christian Ukrainians. You know, I'm actually curious about what the most racist European country is because there are some stiff competition. Hungary. Isn't Hungary very much? Hmm. Hungary and Poland know. are both up there. Actually, actually, never mind. We're talking about countries that could be considered like closer to West Europe. Because the farther east you go, the more racist it gets, isn't it? Of course, yeah. Know. Yeah. So, you know, like Hungary and Poland are living are like basically on the edge. And I think Hungary, like, and we're like comparing them to completely Western European countries. So, yeah, the standards are different. Yeah. They, what are you talking about? The standards shouldn't be different. Shouldn't be different anywhere. I, I, well, I didn't say they should be different. I just said they are different. The standards in Hungary and Poland are different from the standards in France and UK. I didn't say that's how it should be. I'm just saying that's how they are. Mm. I was making a descriptive claim. By right. the way, I'm looking at a map and it looks like Belarus might be the most racist. No, no. Belarus. Bel Lithuania and Belarus and the Czech Republic really? are the most racist. Okay. They have the most racial bias. Mm -hmm. Okay. Czech Republic is really blowing people out of the water. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.